Editing clips from this camera on a computer is going to be a little bit different than editing normal clips from a different camera. Or at least different in the sense that we need an extra step of first preparing the 360 degree files and convert them into usable clips for our edits. First, drag your clips into a new project. In the view mode, you can browse clips and make basic changes. Just like in the mobile app, I start by trimming the in and out points. Then I switch to free capture, and just like in the mobile app, I can now add pivot points and spin around the 360 degree view. For this particular clip, I'm talking to camera, so I start on myself, and then I refer to the environment, so I spin around to show it. Once you have all of your pivot points laid out, you can click the yellow bar between the pivot points, which highlights the section in red. That allows you to add different transitions for the pivot points, like fade in and fade out, which will make your position change look really smooth. One additional thing to note is that the flow state stabilization is checked by default. You can uncheck it if you like, but for what I usually do, I'm just happy that it exists. And when you're done, you go up here to export your clip. Easy peasy. And look out here, it's all dried out. In the wintertime, this whole floodplain is coming. I hope this set of short videos is gonna help you get started using the Insta360 ONE X camera, and I also hope that these videos are gonna help you get some awesome shots for your next film. Again, I'm Jonas Stenstrom with Science Filmmaking Tips, and if you wanna check out what I am doing together with Rob Nelson on our channel, go to this link, and thanks for watching.